Hello, I'm Chris Parkin. I'm here today with the new Zeiss DTI 335 Thermal Imager. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. As many of you know, I get to use a lot of thermal imaging kit and I won't tell you that I am absolutely in love with the Pulsar Accolade XP50, but this new Zeiss DTI thermal monocular has very much impressed me. You can read all the specifications, all the features, prices, etc. on Scott Country's website, but I'm going to tell you what I think to it and why I like it. Right, number one, <clears throat> it's got the two straps on the back that link together. So when you put it over your neck, it lays on your chest and you can access it quickly and easily with either hand. The build itself is kind of a tapered tubular shape, so it's equally comfortable in left or right hand depending on which way you use it. The eye cup on the back is an oval shape so it fits equally quickly into either eye, another factor I like. Because on a monocular sometimes you want to share your, uh, your loss of night vision slightly and you know share it between both eyes. If you're running with binoculars as well, these are so compact and handy, that they are pocket sized but they'll hang there quite comfortably to one side of your binoculars if you wanted to or above or below them. In terms of the functionality of it, the internal screen quality is, it's quite frankly blissful. The, the quality of the Zeiss picture on this Chinese made product, it is everything you would expect from Zeiss's name. Base level magnification is two and a half times optically and there's four times digital zoom on top of that if that's what you want to use. The, okay, you get a bit more pixelation as you zoom up, but that's, the, that, that's one thing you get with any kind of digital night vision or thermal equipment. The point is, it's very, very comfortable to use on two and a half power. It's quick, it's fast, it's light, and it's handy. Although things like the, the bioculars give you the, the dual position use and it locks more easily onto your head for looking around, videoing, etc., it doesn't have that fast adaptability that the monocular has where you can, you know, you can scan and it can move against your head. The quality of the lens in the ocular is also excessively good. You don't have any kind of problems going in and out of focus as your eye drifts slightly within the eye box. <clears throat> in terms of controls, because I've got about three, three and a half minutes to do this in one take, you have got on off power button. You've got the picture or video function button control. Zoom in, zoom out on the top here. And then this one at the back, there's your four um, color palettes. So there is white hot, black hot, red hot, and rainbow color. There's also, if you go into the menu system by holding this down, a very funky little feature where you get a little red square that dances around the corner of the, uh, the corners of the, of the picture. And it picks up new hot spots, which will immediately draw your eye to them. What else can I tell you? Charging's on the bottom here power uh, well I haven't managed to run it out yet but I do charge it every night and there's also a quarter inch thread for your uh, tripod adapter but the point is it's one of those things that I really like because it's so simple and effective in use screen focus is with a little knob on the back here once you've done it you don't need to change it because like I said with the quality of the, the, the eyepiece you're not drifting in and out of focus on it in terms of focus of the image that's on the front so you do need your other hand to control that fine but as most people will know if you set it sort of 100 to 300 meters you can scan around on low magnification without any great effort needed to uh, to change the setup on that because you've got good depth of field so i would seriously seriously consider looking at one of these if you're in the market for a monocular this is i have to say a very pleasing product i think the price point is good and I also think ergonomically, I think it holds the edge now at the moment because it does have that complete ambidextrous flexibility. Have a look on Scott Country's website. You'll see a full review from me shortly, but that's it for now. Three and a half minutes, well, four and a half, but I got there nearly. See you later, bye for now.